Why hello there everyone, and welcome back to my wonderfully weird channel. I'm your gracious host, Coffee, and today's video is going to be part one of a two-part series of me showing you how I go from sketch thumbnail phase to final finished illustration. I knew that I wanted this to be an illustration of my character, Anxiety. This personified version of my anxiety is a character that I developed for my school projects. They are a very personal character to me. They are based off of my experiences with anxiety and mental health problems and neurodivergency. <laughs> This initial drawing that I did was just to get a feel for the character because it had been a while since I'd drawn them. Here I'm doing the quick rough outline for my thumbnail, getting the shapes of the full illustration and the silhouettes figured out. The little imp character is also another character I haven't drawn in a while, so I wanted to do a detail of him. He sort of follows my anxiety around. This is my large-scale thumbnail, where I am getting down all of the details and ideas I want to be in this illustration. My sketching process when I'm working on an illustration is very much an exploratory phase of me figuring out the characters, figuring out the layout, and the feel of the illustration itself. Overall, I'm quite satisfied with the final thumbnail, so I'm going to go ahead and move forward, making it into an illustration. This is the kind of paper that I'm going to be using for the illustration. I am using watercolor paper, as you can see, 140 pound press, 11 by 15 inches, and the brand is Grumbacher. Grumbacher is one of my personal favorite brands because they have very high quality paper. On a side note, I'm very happy that I got a larger ruler recently as it makes laying out guidelines for my illustrations so much easier. Using guidelines helps me figure out the picture plane layout as well as where I want the buildings to lay. You can see that I am making the last minute change that will be the final change to my illustration. <laughs> Sketching is one of the best processes, in my opinion. You get to explore your ideas, figure out layouts, and even nearing the end, you can still make changes based off of how you feel. Now, I don't want to say I have a favorite part of the illustration process because the entire process is something I enjoy, but this next part is probably one of my favorites. This is where I begin the detailed sketching. This is where I add in all the little details, the micro cracks, the wrinkles, the expression and shading that I really want to get through in this piece is where I add it. After I finish typing on Discord, of course. <laughs> It's during this part of the sketching process where the illustration really starts to take a life of its own. I sort of just relax and let my mind play with the details and level of information I want to share. Some of the information is going to be inked, some of the information is going to be watercolor. It's all based off of how I'm feeling about the particular element. For those curious, I usually only have a general idea of what I want to be in the illustration, and the rest sort of comes to me as I complete the illustration itself. Adding all the details and the little elements like the texture of the clouds and the texture on the building, I sort of just add that in as I go. This negative world my characters exist in is, I guess, a shoo-in for my mental space whenever things go bad. 
everything is old and decrepit, it's constantly raining and storming, and it's inhabited by all sorts of little imp-like creatures that aren't necessarily good. You know, like intrusive thoughts can be. I want this world to feel almost forgotten, if that makes sense. Like a wonderland that was corrupted, or a peaceful place that had something bad happen and we're looking at the aftermath of it. I suppose you could equate this room anxiety is sitting in to a little safe space for them to just sit and relax. my unsolicited art advice of the day. Don't be afraid of the sketching process. Don't be afraid to make it messy. Don't be afraid to explore ideas. And don't be afraid to change things last minute because you never know what might come out of those ideas. This next part of my illustration phase is probably the part that takes the longest, but is the part that I love the most, and that is the inking phase. First begin by going in with a 005 micron pen, and begin lining in pretty much everything with this really super fine detail line. several different hatching techniques. I do cross hatching, scribbling, and regular hatching. It's only recently that I started putting a piece of paper under my hand while I'm working whenever my arm is resting on my illustration. I wish I would have started doing that sooner because I've smudged so many pencil illustrations in my time, but at least now I know. So, yeah. <laughs> After I'm pretty satisfied with the 005 micron, I switch over to something with a little bit more thickness to it, and for that I am using the PN Micron. The PN Micron stands for Plastic Nib, I believe, and I kind of prefer it to regular Microns. The only downside is whenever it starts to run out of ink, the lines become very splotchy, and it's very annoying whenever you're trying to get straight, clean lines with it. But you can usually use texture to your advantage whenever you're making illustrations in the way that I do. A little real-time process of me inking. It's a very meditative process and something that I've come to really enjoy during my act of making. absolute favorite thing to draw is people, and whenever I get to draw detailed versions of muscles like this, it's always super fun for me. Now, if you're curious about a narrative behind this piece, I don't really have one in mind. I just had the idea of drawing anxiety in my strange, deserted mindscape that is inhabited by many strange beings. So, yeah. I am really excited for this illustration. When I first started it out, I didn't know how I would feel because the process typically is something I associate with school. And I am just having so much fun with this piece and I cannot wait to continue it. 
I'm planning on continuing work on this piece once the ink has been dried over a period of 24 hours at least, so the ink doesn't smudge whenever I wet the paper. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions about the process, or questions about my creative ideas at all, please let me know in the comments down below, and I will answer them in the next video. As always, be kind, and stay wonderfully weird. I love you all.